Hi everyone, this is Marta from Drop of Sunshine. In today's video, I have a lot of different things happening, so stay tuned because first we're gonna have some celebration, then I will show you my brand new collection, and I will also show you how to use this uh, digitalized frame to create your own personalized prints, and then we'll turn some of these into a beautiful card. So let's get started. Hi, my friends. So today is very, very special video. This is a 300 video on my YouTube channel. And for that, I wanted to share with you something super, super special. I've designed a brand new collection uh, for Craftstash and the Craftstash issue me the discount code for everyone to use. This is a 15% off on all of my digital products as well as on all of the Craftstash & Co collection. So uh, down below, I will give you the, the code. It's Marta15. And thank you, thank you, thank you one more time. I wish to say a huge thank you for being here, for watching 300 videos. This is a huge thing. I'm super, super excited to be a part of this YouTube community and also to be a part of the wonderful crafting group on the craft world and on the Facebook as well. I also wish to say a huge thank you to all of my Facebook fans and friends who are following me there because my Facebook fan page also hit over 3000 likes uh, just recently. So it's all about the three. Third collection, uh, 3000 likes and 300 videos. So I am celebrating and I am celebrating with this new collection and 15% discount code. I will I'll flip my camera around to share with you my collection and I hope you will enjoy it. So my friends, let's have a quick overview on our collection. So the collection contains three different elements, but there is a bonus for those who will buy the whole collection. The number one uh, product is set in this collection is a little bit novelty in comparison to the other two collection because this is this digital set a personalized set I've made and this set it's meant for you to print your own labels uh, to create your own sentiment to add your own words so this will help you out to create this perfect personalized gift and let me just show you what I mean by that this is the wedding card I've created and what I did here, I used one of the labels and I printed up front, uh, adding my own sentiment, the wedding date, and then I use another one because these are perfectly resizable. So I just made sure it will fit to my card and I print my personalized wish wishes here. So this is the product number one. And once I finish showing you collection, I will show you step by step. How did I do to create this personalized uh, print? Now, this is the product number two, something you already, really, uh, you already know from the previous collection. I do have this set of 24 pages in 12 different designs. So let's have a quick look on these designs itself. I really, really love this collection. This is by far one of my most favorite collection I design, and I know I've been saying it each time, but I just love them. I was making sure, uh, obviously, when I was designing them, I was thinking about the weddings. I was thinking about all the anniversary, all the happy, uh, happy creation, but there is plenty of different color choices, and these will be perfect for like new baby, welcome baby cards, all sorts of the creation, birthday, uh, not only the anniversary and the wedding, but all type of the creations uh, congratulations uh, different different cards whatever it is in your mind uh, thanks to the personalized set you can make it match on its own and I actually oh, I want to show you one thing I mix up those paper because instead of printing them on one and a second size uh, I've just print mix them in between these two so here you can see comparison between the full color page and this lighter version one and thanks to that, you can actually create this very interesting inlay effect because this is the same design. So you can marry them up once you print them, make sure you set them the same 
way so they will be matching and then cut uh, cut from two like one aperture or or so circle whatever shape is and you can very very easily marry them up or you can also do you can um print the paper on a smaller scale like i did here i printed on fa5 and then i have this uh, really nice bold design and uh, very pale uh, edges over here as well so i hope you will enjoy them and this is another design this is a, a full version full color version and there is a small uh, uh, lighter brighter version uh, for you you can print your wishes here you can write on it uh, so i thought this will be a nice addition not only for having the bold color but something lighter as well so you could stamp on it and that will be very visible here is another page i love there's lots of the laces there's lots of the roses uh, flowers everything i love i just put here in this collection and i hope you'll enjoy them i hope you will like these color choices and uh, all the elements because i did try to make my best with this collection here it's another page which i truly love it kind of reminds me this crackle decoupage uh, elements so i just love this design and another one which i really like to use this is the wreath and i have the back side of it and again you can print here stamp here use it as a focal point and same with this one here i think this one will be great as an insert for the card and if you print it on an a5 size uh, card you will have this perfect element to match your six by six card and then another uh, shade of the pink which is really really nice and that will be matching lots of different occasion so uh, i hope you will enjoy them now last but not least element in the collection is the oh my paper's just falling down now <laughs> too many <laughs> so they start falling uh, the last but not least element in the collection is this ephemera pack and this time i went beyond and i've just gave you 245 elements to, for you to cut so i hope you will enjoy them and th these are in pdf files so you can uh, print them on a4 or a5 size and you don't have to print them all at once you can change the sizes you can amend them accordingly to the needs or you can print just the one uh, which will be matching the papers you are using so here is comparison between a4 and a5 of the floral element there is some a page with the leaves and i left them separately because sometimes you just think like oh i could use a little bit more leaves to my flower composition so this way you won't have to print uh, pages all the pages again you can just focus on on the foliage itself and print a little bit more there is a page full with the roses as well so you have plenty flowers to fill up your composition and because i wanted to give it not only this feminine touch i wanted to create a little bit more vintagey or something will give you a chance to create mail cards too i add additional set of the leaves in a slightly different color version same here you've got the uh, flowers which are matching to the collection but i also put this gray scale flowers because i thought why not if someone is like to create monochromatic look or would like to create the male version of the card or maybe like sympathy card you can still use the design here and you will have plenty of use here i have this page filled with the little flowers and uh, little leaves which will fill up your floral composition very nicely so uh, definitely one of my favorite pages to cut especially if you have the access to scan and cut machine you can just run them through and they will be cut for you in a minute and then you have the set of the labels for each color choices you have uh, two different versions one with the sentiments one without because i didn't want to make it all about the wedding because i know you can personalize it to your own needs so you have the chance to stamp on the labels or to uh, add some die cut uh, sentiments as well and here again you can print them on a5 size 
or if you really need this big focal point you can print them on on the larger scale here so there is elements matching to each color uh, pages so you're not going to be missing on any anything and with each design papers you have the matching labels and lastly you have this little page with the uh, some extra elements this is a bonus elements as well and now uh, last thing I wanted to share with you for those who will buy the whole collection I also have some digital bonus which is this lovely set of six labels and this is the DL size print which comes in a form like that so they'll be ready for you to use on your DL size creation I already used a few and let me just quickly show you how did I place it on DL size card using the label and some flower elements and these take me just a few minutes to pop up the card and especially if you're creating the wedding invitations or some thank you cards or something like that baby shower cards you can use them you can use the personalized label and create Create your own personalized touch card and here is two more cards and then I will show you how did I create the personalized prints so my friends I set up my camera my phone so I could record uh, what I'm doing on my computer screen here you can see I have this document on the Microsoft Word program open and what I'm gonna do, I will start from adding my sentiment. But before I will do that, it's always handy if you know what size of the card you are creating. I want my panel to be six by six inches around. So uh, it's quite handy to change the paper printing size for a smaller, because this way you're not gonna be wasting as much paper and you have the better view of your elements as well. So I changed the size of my paper to A5, as you can see, and then I am using this uh, center uh, text so I could write from the center and my text will be nice and straightly uh, positioned. So uh, let's add some name. Let's say we're gonna do a wedding card for our friends whose names are, um, I don't know, maybe Anna and uh, Stephen. And then uh, let's change the font for maybe something more straight like that and says congratulations. on uh, your wedding day on your wedding day and then what is today day it's 14 of june 2022 and i'll change this one to the um, same this one as the top font and then maybe make them both bold to make them stand even nice. This is up to you. You can change the fonts, you can resize them, make them as big or as small as you wish. Maybe that one is a little bit too big for me. I'll change it to a smaller. And now, next step. Once you have your sentiment ready, this is what we do. And I'm sorry I'm having the Polish uh, language here, but I don't know where to change it. I was looking for this option for like half an hour and I don't know where to change the language here. So my friends, you go to the insert, you've got this uh, main tools and then you have the insert. You press on the insert, you go to the image icon and you insert your image. Then you choose the folder, whatever folder you have. I'm choosing my folder with personalized frames. And then I am picking up the, the one I would like to do. I think I'm gonna go with the purple frame because it's really nice and I am just inserting it. So as you can see, my label has been insert above the text. So what we have to do, we have to merge them both together to work nicely. So I'm pressing the right uh, click, uh, right button of my mouse, I'm clicking it. And then I go to the text wrapping. I will list it down below in the description. So don't worry, uh, I will put it step by step. You go to the text wrapping and then you either put it in front of the text or behind. I'm choosing behind, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Now we have to change our label, it's uh, frame, it's a little bit too big. So I'm pressing on the corner and I am slowly resizing it. 
Now, you can resize it from the sides as well, but this will squish your label, so you'll be able to make it look like, like an oval as well. For example, if you need that here, you can see I've got the oval shape. But I want to keep it straight, nice circle, so I'm always uh, changing the uh, size from the corners. Unless I will need the oval label, then I could change the uh, change it this way as well. So, oh, I'm pressing on the label. Oh, oh here, and then I am just positioning it over uh, behind my text so that will be nice in the center and then you can play as much as you want it's up to you my friends uh, whatever you would like to do maybe i'll just change this text a little bit uh, to be a little bit more um, wider here oh so that'll be looking a little bit better so as you can see i've got my label uh, for my front of my cart ready and then I will go and I'll print it so I'm going to the uh, printing setup and because I've changed my size to A5 size paper I'm changing it on the printer as well I am choosing the good quality uh, of my print so that'll be like no uh, standard because if you if you have your text documents uh, set up on the standard print that could give you the slower quality of the printing page so here we go uh, that will come right off uh, right off from my printer and now let's work on the wishes part i'm gonna get rid of this label and let's say i would like to write the wishes um, uh, congratulations Let's say this is the wishes for the inside portion and again I am going to insert I am inserting this time the other frame I want to use and now my friends I want this to be insert of my card so I can go to the size and then change it for example I want it to be 13 and a half centimeter and I'm just changing it and then it should automatically amend the size for me and then I am clicking onto wrapping the text behind the text and here you can see I have this label so I'm just making sure it's looking nice and I can see straight away I need to move my text a little bit further down and then once i'm happy with my placement and everything i can again go press print make sure my uh, printing paper is matching the size and i fit my printer with a5 size paper and i'm pressing the print back again so here let me just grab first one uh, i can show you this is the label for my front of the card and then i am just waiting for the second one to come and we will move back to my desk to complete this card and now it's time for my forever favorite part of the creation uh, i already pre-cut all the element as the video is already long so now we're just gonna put them together into a lovely card i have this ready-made card base which is eight by eight inches and i'm using one of the design papers as the background for my the front of my card and i am backing it with this velvet gold color cardstock now i've um, 
miscut my measurements here so i'm just trimming the edges just making sure that it's nice and even on all four sides and then i am gluing all the other elements my circles uh, with the matching mats with this gold color cardstock this big circle you see here uh, this is coming from the ephemera pack and i've printed on a4 size um, paper uh, there is this um, piece uh, you've got two pages per each color design one with the sentiments and one without and these ones without they are great for creating the focal points especially if you don't have a dice um, you can very easily trace them with your scissors and this will give you a lovely element to add to your cards as i'm doing here i'm also playing with some of the elements from my other uh, craft stash and co collection this is the um, physical collection which contains some dice, some stamp sets and two different paper pads as well. So if you will be interested, I'll give you the links down below and you can check this one as well. Now I am trying to figure out the placement of my focal point on the card and I really like it to be um, in this uh, right direction. Uh, bottom corner uh, it's not right in the cor uh, in a corner but i just like it to be shaved towards the the bottom side i'm adding a drop of the organza ribbon just to dress it up this is a very beautiful uh, ribbon which you can still see through so it's not overpowering the uh, the papers but it's just matching perfectly with the tone of my flowers and once i have them uh, ribbon secure i am placing the uh, four strips of the paper uh, of the double-sided tape uh, to my paper and then i've just adhered it to the uh, card base and now i am slightly raising my focal point by adding some double-sided foam tape and it's a good tip here my friends to remember if you're gluing some elements with the double-sided foam tape just add the drop of the glue anyway because the tapes sometimes they tend to dry and with the time they could uh, fall off so uh, last thing you want to do is to give someone this beautiful keepsake card which will start falling apart after a couple of years and now I am working on my floral composition. I am using here some roses and leaves which I cut from the ephemera pack and I'm just trying to see what's looking good. Um, and some of the flowers I am backing with the double-sided foam tape just to make sure they're not going to be tilted too much because my focal point is rising. So if I'll adhere the flower uh, to the edge of the focal point, I need to back it so, uh, so it will be nice nicely uh, nicely even and now i'm creating the bow i never know how to uh, how to tie a double or triple bow to make it super even so i'm just faking it here i am just grabbing all the material in my hand and then i'm securing it with the uh, florist wire and uh, this is a trick i learned watching the florist creating the nice big bow on their floral composition and since then i've been using it and i always uh, never ever struggle to have my bowl looking nice and even ever since and now i am just trying to see where shall i uh, adhere my ribbon and uh, i'm also gonna use a lovely piece of the gold button just to uh, add that little uh, sparkly touch up to my card as well so here i am just trying to see whether i should add a little bit extra to the corner i just cannot decide <laughs> today uh, but um, uh, i think i'm just gonna leave it without uh, and then um, just add this little leaf to the to the side as well and tiny flower uh, so uh, that's gonna be the front of my card uh, i really really like how it's turned out and now uh, let's quickly finish the card from the inside and of course i already pre-cut all the elements this is the square uh, we were creating when i was showing you how to add the sentiment on the computer and i am backing it with the gold paper and i do the same with the uh, with the design paper which i pre-cut to the size to fit my card and as you can see i use the same gold piece uh, of the cardstock i just used 
the square die to cut the aperture uh, on the inside which I then use for my personalized um, sentiment uh, so that way I am not wasting uh, more gold paper than I should so this is a, another good trick for you to save on the paper just use the dies or even if you don't have the, the specific die just cut um, some random square or circle on the inside portion of your mat and this way you always get that extra piece of the of the paper especially if this mirror cardstock or some specialty paper so you want to keep the most of it and don't waste it if you don't have to uh, so here i am just adhering the last two bits and then i will add a couple of the leaves as a touch up uh, for the inside as well just to make it matching with the front of the card so i hope you enjoy i will show you the a, um, close up look in a second so you will be able to see uh, how this card turned out on the photo and I hope you enjoy it I hope you enjoy the entire collection uh, so thank you so very much I hope this video will bring you some value and if it did if you enjoy it please consider to give it a like to leave a comment and subscribe to my youtube channel I am just starting a designer and creator so this would help me a lot if you could help me to to grow my channel as well and here is this quick look on the card i've made today using this personalized frames and some ephemera elements plus these gorgeous papers i've designed i will give you a little uh, recap on the collection which contains 12 digital frames uh, for this personalized use there is also 12 different design papers but you get two version of these and then there is this massive uh, ephemera bundle with 245 elements and for those of you who will support me with the buying uh, full collection you will also get the six bonus print of DL size panel. Lastly, I wish to warmly invite you to join me on my new digital Sunday classes this Sunday coming. The link is down below and thank you so very much for being here for watching and I hope to see you shortly. Have a wonderful day my friends. Bye bye!